So, very easy question. Why is cross space such a thing? Have I made such a thing about it? Does anyone know why? It's very simple. If you control the head, you pretty much control the body. If he doesn't have the cross space, all right, and I wanted to say just hip away and get my knee in, look at what's happening to my head. I'm facing him. With the cross space, exactly as it does, it's making me look cross over here. As I hit the way I get my knee in, I cannot go much further because my head is still facing the other way. I need it to face him in order to complete the action and his shoulders fall in the block. So we look at ways to just get rid of this. First of all, this is all failed, he's got the cross face down. Okay, so this is, this is very hard, not really, there's no easy solution, but the first thing I would look to do is hit the way, create a tiny bit of space because I do have at least that and move my elbow up. Now I'm conscious of not wanting to project my arm too much. If I project my arm too much, he starts attacking for the Kimura. Switch over and he starts attacking for the Kimura or other. Oh, 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 whatever, yeah. So what I, what I need is that. This lessens the chance of this, all right? To really drive this in, so it's just too nice to me, that's the problem. Good friend. There we go. And then I want this. See what I did there? Then we do the, they call it the Madonna, praying Madonna, and the Caribbean or something over here. Now drive the shoulder in as much as you can. Okay, fine. I'll just try it and escape. Yep. 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 So you can see. So worst case scenario, very horrible. I'm not saying this is easy, by the way, but this is one option you have, especially if it puts his hand and arm and you're getting it. So I'm doing like, I have to, I have to um, set it up a little bit. Step out. Out, which allows you to drive your elbow up a little bit. In the meantime, he's still driving that your face to look the other way. Tiny bit of space, a fingertip is all I need. Now you put the two palms together, you're not pushing away, you're using it as a, a stop, a check, which allows you to do that. So without me down there, this is what I'm doing. Uh, horrible cross space, okay? Get it in, drive it up, there's a gap. Fingertip and look at this frame here. Look at my forearms in the right position with which to frame and then start playing the video. Very basic stuff. I'm not saying it's going to work every time, but you should be able to do things like that in certain frames. Yes? Feel free to run this guy. Okay, same person. Go across face. Alright, so with this technique, just give me a bit of space, relied on you getting this hand here to frame. The, this sort of mirror opposite is getting the hand on this side. See what I'm doing there? I'm sacrificing my ability to the frame here to go underneath there. You can even combine the two, so I've managed to break that space out and going underneath. This allows you to frame in a slightly different way. Over my head and get rid of the cross space there. You have to know the sit up guard from here. Sit up is good for me. You just drive, push, and stay here, yeah, which we've done several times before. Um, I'm not going to cover that particular aspect, but I just want to show you as, as the cross space is driving in. If I manage to get this one, I can also drive the other one here. Even just the stiff arm here alone is quite nice. All right. Did I show you this one when he goes back into me? And then we go to, yeah, yeah I showed you. Um, oh, okay, so we're moving. I just wanted to show you, I don't think you should practice that one. As long as you can do the prayer position and get out, I think that should probably to you. If you'll start mucking around with all the other variations, you this. So. Let's look at some submission defenses. If he gives up on the cross face, he's going to start attacking. That's your warning sign. If your arm is out here, <laughs> so he takes that and he does that Americana. Right, yeah, that's it. Let's just go straight to Americana. Now, uh, so an instinctive thing is to do with the boy. He's not going to bend my arm. If I straighten my arm, so you straighten my arm, and it just does a straight arm bar from here. Yeah, that's not wrong. <laughs> okay. And then you know that straight arm bar, you bend it down, and guess what's going to happen? He switches his grip. You've got to switch the grip to get the camera. And we go, and he starts working the camera. Yeah, there you go. So this is a triple threat attack, which we teach in fundamentals. It's kind of like a common thing where you do that and do that. Um, but they don't necessarily teach you the defences, they just teach you that, so if you can learn the defences, it's tough on you. Well, I'm going to show you the defences now. As soon as he takes up, you know you're in danger, keep your elbow close. But if you manage to do that, you start turning, and this is, goes against what I just said, where you have to turn into it. I'm turning away from him to push his arm away, so I do not want him to get that, that figure forward position. Again, and again, we're back again. Now we have to start working on the step, right? So you're going to do this, he's going to switch from the cross face, to 
As soon as you have your endangered zone, so as long as you know, bam, right? He's not going to get you, he's just going to find it really hard to get him over. But we're now going to pretend to be stupid and give him. You push the elbow or the tricep or under the armpit. On the armpit's quite a good one. Withdraw your elbow, that's all you need to do. The second version is you mistakenly straighten your arm. Okay, <laughs> you need to again turn, push the bottom off, withdraw the elbow. Yes? The final one is the Kumo one, and you're screwed by there. Which <laughs> was, you know, we go back to side position, he's got the cross face, I managed to escape the cross face, but he's got my arm, and he gets the scuff off. Um, let's do the headlock version, yeah. You, you, you think, oh, it's, it's not really much, but if you have him doing this to you, right, look at the attacks he's got. He's, he's got, basically it's very hard to just get out of that front. He's got a nice squeeze on. A lot of people can tap even from this. <laughs> to tap, to tap. Plus, have, have you seen Wayne do this one, where he... <laughs> That's horrible! It's an American using his feet. <laughs> and there's none of that defense. You haven't got that defense. So if you put your arm there... Well. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And then you don't have access to pushing one. You've got nothing. You screw from there, right? So, the lesson here is, yes, he's going to pull the arm up to stop you, because your escape is to get the elbow to the ground and start framing, right? I'm rushing through this, I apologise, but I just want you to do this drill quickly. So you've got no choice but to have that arm here, connect it with this arm, walk towards him, join your hip. Nothing works until you join his hip, then it's a bridge over, and even from here he's going to squeeze under the line, and you've got to grab some The correct way, the gracie way to get out of this one is Hand over him, step over, lean in, extend the arms, and you've got potentially an arm. You're lucky if you get that far, I'm just happy to get out because it's on me, right? So you're all going to do this one, you're going to start from normal side position, and he's got the cross face. But you've managed to escape from here, but because you've expended so much effort to do it, he immediately, immediately switches to the position. Now guys, do the scarf hold with the headlock. This doesn't work with the this one. You need a different kind of escape, which is the one. I'm not doing that one. Do the headlock version, guys, yes? So he pulls up. I can't do anything. Join your hand with his hand. I don't care how you grip, but generally it's just a wrist grip here. Join your hip, so it's kind of like you're taking back control, although you're not technically back control. You have to bridge. Don't just use your strength. Bridge, because where the head goes, the body follows. There. It's not even a strong bridge, it's more like just rolling his head in the direction. And if I got it this far, I'm going, yes! <laughs> As I did to Andrew the other week. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, let's go. One, two, three.